We're going with our All-Australian team. Now, this team, we're not going with any statistics. We are not looking at champion data. We're not looking at coaches' votes. We're using our eyes. What we determine should be in our All-Australian team. So what we've decided to do is we're breaking it down. So Jamie the J-Dog Wallace, he'll be going through the midfield and the forwards. Hang on. What? Stop there quickly. Can yes. I just, before you explain how we're doing it, yep. we set ourselves the assignment. <laughs> yep. And we have both completely stuffed our own assignments up. We even no, set the rules for our assignment. And before we even went on and we're talking about who we think and what we should happen here, mm-hmm. we both didn't even under, understand our own assignment for this. So, Peps, please continue because you understood it to be something else and I understood it to be something else. All we had to do was pick an all-Australian team. <laughs> I had the back line and the followers. <laughs> You had the midfields and the forwards. But then somehow we decided, well, we'll do three players each. And then we scrapped it. We went back to option A. So we're going with option A. I'm going with the backman. I'm going with my ruckman and uh, on ballers. We'll then pick a couple of people on the bench. And then we'll finally throw in a sub as well. And All right. we're talking general zones. We're not general. going positional. We're going, do they play in that zoned area? Then we will pick them. Now, I would like to see two wingmen. That's what I would like to see, especially because for the people who are watching this for the first time on our YouTube page, I am a 377-game superstar of the East Keeler Football Club, retired for 11 years now. But I dominated on the wing for years, and it's it's a position that's very, very passionate to me. There's nothing better than seeing people streaking up and down the wing, doing the most amount of work and not being rewarded for it. So I Peps. really think there should be wingmen in there. Peps, the what do I say to you about wingmen? Has gone. No. What do I say about wingmen? The wingmen are dead. <laughs> <laughs> They're not dead. All it's right. Dead position. Yes. Okay. How should we do this? Should we do three three positions each? Like No, we'll go from the back. We'll go from the backs. All right. So I'm looking after the back line on the All-Australian team. Now, once again, this is my opinion, and these are people who have caught my eye throughout this year and who I think deserve a spot. All right. First one I'm going to go with, and these are in no – Main orders outside, probably centre half back and full back. All right. First bloke is coming from the Richmond Football Club, Jaden Short. Absolutely love what he did this year. And the amount of times that he was banging goals from outside Fitty, it was. And that's what it should be all about. So he had an absolute cork of a. Only played 16 games this year, but one of the highest rated players. So very, very handy with what he did. I'm also going to go with my uh, key defender as well too, the guy that I'm having standing literally at the back. No one is going to be able to get past this individual whatsoever. And I'm simply going to be going with, now you might say he's a medium. I think he might be a key, but Dan Houston, would you say he's a key defender or is he a, Medium He's sized a defender. Medium sized defender. Okay, well, how about we put him on the other half back flank? Should we go with that? Especially after that goal he kicked. <laughs> oh, you got half back flank. Okay. Doing oh, full back line first. You're Six doing points. half backs. Uh, I'm definitely going to be going with, uh, at full back, I'm going with a key defender of Callum Wilkie. Great year this year. Absolutely sensational. I think he is one of the main reasons that. St Kilda lasted this long into the season so far um, and hopefully will make the All-Australian team if he is part of the All-Australian setup. Uh, the other back pocket I'm going is with uh, I'm going with Trent Rivers from Melbourne. Just love his runoff halfback. Love it. And he's played a lot of lockdown work as well too this year. So I love what he's doing. I've got to go with the Lizard. Got to go with Nick Blakey coming off the halfback line, my friend. How could you not like the Lizard? He is absolutely sensational coming off halfback. 
And um, I'm also going with my centre-half back, who I don't care if he's a medium defender. He saved this club so many times throughout the season. Mason Redmond from the Essendon Football Club. If he doesn't win their best and fairest or get close to winning their best and fairest this year, uh, there's something definitely wrong with that club. He signed a mega contract with the club too, and that's who I am going with. So my six back line is Jaden Short, Callum Wilkie, Trent Rivers, Dan Houston, Mason Redmond at centre half back, and Nick Blakey. From a visual perspective, not from a statistical perspective. Sorry, James Sicily. Sorry, Harris Andrews. I'm, I'm going for it. They're the obvious ones, Jamie. They're obvious ones, Harris Andrews. Really? <laughs> really? Because. I, I, I could put anyway, it's there. not it's your it's your back six peps. There's don't, an all Australian don't get all Mark team Robinson on this. later on this week. Like don't yeah, go for it. But this is the un Australian team. These are the ones that we think that well, this is the un Australian <laughs> This is our all Australian Okay, team. all right. The backs are forgotten, Peps. As we can we can acknowledge that as football fans, the backs are not the sexy ones. Now, this is not the sexy ones. Get the job done. Team. Um I've probably got it. I've probably got in terms of like sex appeal, I think I've probably got the best the best lines. <laughs> it's fun. Um, yeah. All right. Who is your and you've also got Ruck Peps, so yeah. do you want me to name my midfielders first? You go through your midfielders first, and then we, the rucks come after the forwards. Okay. All right. Oh, I'll, I'll do my rucks. I'll do the rucks after you do your midfielders. Okay. All right. So my midfield which will include wings because someone is sensitive to the wings position. I've got Butters, Zacharias Butters. Okay. Dacos, because how can you not have... Which Dacos? Dacos. Nick or... What do you mean, which Dacos? Josh. Josh. Nick's off the halfback, isn't he? Not more. Yeah. Man. Josh. I'm going Josh. Oh, okay. Bont, because he is, you can put him anywhere. Okay. So that's like my center. Yeah. But I've also got my, I've also got Sarong and Goulden in there as well. Mm, that's five. You're missing one. Yeah. Well, this is where, this is where I got a bit stuck. I'm not going to lie. Okay. I got a bit stuck in this part because there is, I could, I could put, like a merit in there or something like that. Yep. Or a Rosie. Mm-hmm. I actually have a name. Rosie's in. Rosie's in another line for mine. Fielders. Yep. Yeah, that's about, that. That that's kind of mine. So who's your ruck for that? Okay. To, well, to, my to ruck, tap down to that. Yeah, my ruck. Um, I went against the grain here. I'm going with Rowan Marshall. I think. I don't mind that. Yep. I, I think he's been better than Tim English. It's as simple as this. Oh, Tim English doesn't stand out to me when he plays a good game. Like, I, I think Rowan Marshall's back end of the year has been really, really good. One of the, once again, another one of the reasons why St Kilda's midfield have really come back. They were looking pretty average through the middle of the year, and they've really come back. He, he's he's come home with a wet sail. He's Australia too, my friend. The, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Yep. The two, other, at all. the two others I'm actually having a look at. Now, we're talking about a uh, Ruck Rover and a Rover. Ruck Rover, I've gone with Tom Libratore. You've got yeah, to have some... Libra's on another list of mine. you got to have you got to have some grunt. Like, you definitely have to have some grunt in the mids there. And as a Rover, I am showing a bit of bias when I say this one, but it's been justified when the squad came out. Jack Viney has been immense. It's probably the best year of footy I've seen him play. Oh, God, I was going to say, just list the Melbourne squad, are we? Uh, what do you mean? It's the first one I've listed. <laughs> you big girls' blouse. It's the first one that I've listed. So, Radio. Rowan Marshall, Tom Libratore, Jack Viney as my main on ballers to go with yours. Okay. All right. Now, I. Okay. Half backs. I mean, half forwards now, sorry. You go forwards, yep. 
Petrarca, Charlie Kerno, and Pal Pepper. I had Pal Pepper. I had Petrarca, yes. And this Charlie Kerno, a bit more, bit more up forward. Yeah, a bit more roaming. Yeah, this is the one I'm looking forward to. I want to hear what your what your your forwards are. My forwards, pocket. T Green. Love child. <laughs> FF. <laughs> full foot. Go again. Gotta love a wound. <laughs> FF. Someone who shouldn't play far from goal, even though it can kick the leather off it. The big Texan. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I think the Kerno Tex spine is very appealing. And in my other pocket, mm-hmm. the excitement machine himself, the Mr. Motorbike, C. Cameron, Ooh. Charlie Cameron. Ooh. <gasps> okay, so Charlie Cameron in there as well too. All right, interesting, interesting. All right. But I have, I have another list. I have one more line. No, you don't have another line. Shush! It's my, it's my, it's my all well, Australian. On the, I have, I have the, so, I have my sorry line. I have my sorry no, line. No, no, no. That, that comes at the end. That comes at the end because I've got okay, people right, not going right. to fit in. All right. So now we've got two bench spots each that you can put someone in. Oh, okay. All right. I might get this in then. Yep. All right. All right. My two are simply, uh, simply this. Nick Larkey has to be, has to be in this team. Like I said, he kicked seventy-one goals in a he kicked seventy-one goals in a team that won three games this year, and he didn't he didn't win a Coleman because he kicked bags against blue and yellow witches hats called West Coast twice this season as well. All right, yeah, we got a sixty-man squad. We got a what sixty-man squad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. Uh, yes. Now, I'll just but before hey, I'll do that in a moment too. I've got a, 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 a cracking comment that's dropped in as well too. And the other bench spot I'm giving, I'm actually giving it to another forward. And and this team was shit house through the entire year. All right. But there was this guy stood up every single week when two meter Peter wasn't there. When the package was returned to sender, Kyle Langford had an absolute breakout season. And he, every single week, he happened to just kick goals when Essendon couldn't. And without him there, they were going to be in a lot worse of a position than they were. He, he literally kept them in it for as far as they did up until the last two rounds when they lost by a combined total of 197 yeah, points. Think, look. I don't. I don't feel great naming who I had to miss out because I agree all these players should be there. Yep. But I picked mine. Yep. You, you all right. Two. Who's your two? So you're, you've got Langford and Larky on the bench. Yep. They're my two bench spots. Yes. So you've got a half forward and a forward. Yeah. Nothing in reserve. Okay. No. Well, that's going to stuff me up a bit, then, aren't you? Aren't you? No, it's not. I put a backman in the back. I'm, I'm got a backman in my uh, in my in my benches. All right. Because I missed out. I've got Libba. I've already said Libba. Libba's in the team. No, you said he was in the team. I didn't say he's in my in my centers. No, but he's in. He's on ball, so you don't have to put him anywhere. Oh, okay. He can stay in. He's then. our team. It's our team. It's our. All team. right. So the other one I have in there, mm-hmm. unheralded, Peps. Yep. Brian Myers. <sighs> Oh, now, interesting, very interesting. I think he has been unheralded in that uh, Geelong, love him, outside of Geelong, doesn't get spoken about enough. Okay. Grunt, cracking year, kept that team rolling through the midfield. Mm. He does, he does, he's just stepped up. And I think he deserves a spot in the P and J All Australian okay. team. See, but here's the thing that I want to ask about this guy: is I don't get it. What position oh. is he played in? He's around the ball. 
So, but what position? Is he an on baller? Is he a forward? Is he. Oh, I don't know because. He's all of that. He's, he's, the, he's the bond. He's the bond just in Geelong hoops. He can do it all. No, he can't. Well, he doesn't. He can roll forward. He can roll forward and sneak a goal. Mm -hmm. He can play in the ball and he can get it there. He can be on the second chain handball and get it and and run away from the stoppage. I'll give you that. He does it all. Mm, I just think there's other medium forwards that would be worth more. But once again, we had a look at my back line and I missed Sicily and Harris Andrews. But once again, I'm going by the eye, not the, not the, 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 the normal ones. All right. So that's that. That's our team, pets. All right, but we've got to have a sub. Oh, we do have a sub. We have a sub. Are you going to go with your sub? Well, I've got a sub that I'm thinking oh, okay. of. Okay. I've got a sub I'm thinking of, and it's a Gold Coast player. Oh, okay. I want to hear this. He's a forward, but I think he can play backed as well. Jack the coaches. Okay. Like it. Utility. Yep. Um, South Australian product. Yep. And more importantly, uh, was consistently kicking goals when others weren't. All right. Yep. I like that. Uh, he's had – like what's he had for the year? He's had 39 goals for the year. Not bad for a forward. I like it. Not bad at all for a forward – and you got a, you know, they got a lot of forwards up there as well too. So there you go, team. There is our. Hang on. What, what, what about my sub? Do I get a sub? Oh yes, you do. Sorry, I thought we were just oh, going together, but I don't even get a sub. All right. Who's your sub? That's rough, isn't it? All right, my sub. I like my subs to be jazzy peps. I like my o. subs to have jazzy a bit of, a bit of, a bit of, bit of I like them to have a bit of, bit of sizzle about them. <gasps> I'm going. For the excitement machine himself, Isaac Rankin. Oh, nice! He's had he's good. He I, I got to see him firsthand when they played uh, Melbourne this year, Adelaide. He was the other reason they they were kept in the game. And if he hadn't had done his hand, he he probably would have won it off his own boot. That's how good he was. He was pretty mid- good. Mid- pretty up. good. He was, gives you two goals a game. All that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> awesome. He is awesome as well too. Hey, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. What do you reckon about our all Australian team? No stats, just going by the eye. Let's be honest. The back line was probably the most subjective out of it. The mids and forwards pretty much worked themselves out. Yeah, there were some big names missing, but they're going to be getting their jackets later on this week in the official AFL Hall of Fame. Sorry, all Australian team. But with us... Mm, 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 mm. I think we did it. We will, we will put, we will put our our lists up there so you can see who we've listed. Certainly, and we'll also uh, be putting this as an individual video on YouTube as well for our all Australian team as well. 